Hello YouTube and welcome to your 11th Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 Express tutorial. And um, right now I am currently rendering two videos in 1080p on my little Dell Studio XPS 16 and um, it's running a little bit slow. So if you see some lag in Visual Basic, that's to be expected because I'm rendering this video and this video both in 1080p. So, whatever. Forget about that. Uh, let's get a little checkup. Yep, the microphone's working just fine. So, now I'm going to move on to the tutorial. Most of the time, when you're using a for loop, you're not going to use the one like the one I just taught you. Because it's not very practical. Practical. Blah, 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 practical. And there's not very many uses for it. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the for loop to get a list of files on your hard drive your C partition so let's go ahead and get started we'll add we'll go into the project that we've been using for the past two tutorials and we'll go to toolbox <coughs> voice crack there okay we'll go to toolbox we'll add another button and we'll just name it we'll, we'll set the text to for each loop and if you haven't guessed we're going to be learning about the for each loop for each loop we'll go ahead and name it button for each okay so now we are going to start the code start typing the code so go ahead double click on for each loop and it'll open up its method inside of your code and to start off, we just want to clear the list. And if you don't know what it is, go back and watch tutorial 9 and 10, and you'll know exactly what it is. Now, we're going to list each folder in my main hard drive. So, we're going to start our for loop. For each string folder which is um, a variable that we are declaring inside of the for loop which you can do so for each string string folder as string and then in as you can see visual basic is lagging a lot because of the heavy load of my computer right now but in space my dot computer dot file system dot get directories and then we'll just parentheses c colon backslash and then we'll just add them to our list and let's see I think we may have got something wrong I don't know yet. Hold on. Went through this code earlier and it worked just fine. So we'll just have to see what happens. And then we'll just go ahead and add those folders to our list. And. And then just type next. There we go. That, that made that blue line go away. And go ahead and get rid of this empty space right here, even though it doesn't even matter. And now we will run the program, and then I will explain the code. Okay, hold on. Okay, sorry about that there. Um, I had a little problem. I, I don't know why. I'm pretty stupid. But I added an underscore in right here between in and my computer and it wouldn't let me delete it so I just had to start over and delete this whole line right here so pretty much what I screwed up on is you don't need that underscore right there and uh, now let's go ahead and run this and see how it works so here's our form here's our for loop that we've done before and then we'll click on for each loop and you can see it has a list of every file on my computer 
Uh, there's Recycle Bin, AMD, ATI, blah, 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 a whole bunch of other stuff, program files. So this was a pretty easy tutorial. So go ahead, test out this code, try it yourself. You can find other directories, other files, and um, use it to look through the use it to look through the files in your computer. So have fun with that. Uh, get it down, and then move on to the next tutorial. And don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and.